a very good morning to all my friends welcome to my youtube channel that is cwj auto channel i hope you all are having a sunny and a warm morning today so today's topic is going to be about the 2024 jaguar e-pace so let's get started with the information regarding this car the e-pace received a minor refresh for the 2021 model year which included the new Headlights, twigs to the front and the rear fascias, and an updated infotainment system, the uses of the Jaguar PV Pro software. But for the 2024, the P250 SE becomes the sole E-Pace trim levels, offering the previous Pace 250 and 300s both models that has been axed. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go is now standard and a new premium black plaque is available which includes adaptive dampers along with the gloss black wheels and exterior e The 2023 Jaguar E-Pace was exclusively offered in P250 SE trim level but under the hood of the 2024 Jaguar E-Pace, it sits in a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine paired with a 9-speed automatic that transmits the power to all the four 19-inch wheels, 20 to 21 inches wheels are available. Other standard equipments included a leather upholstery, steering wheels with a satin chrome shift paddles, heated 12-ways front seats, a Meridian sound system and a host of driver assist features such as emergency braking, adaptive cruise control and blind spot assist. As with the most crossovers in this class, the E-Pace has a turbocharged 4-cylinder powertrain, the 2024 P250 SE standard and only engine generates 246 horsepower and 269 pound feet of torque and is mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission. We have yet to get our hands on an E Pace 250 SE and we will update the section once we do. Though we have tested the discontinued E Pace 250 and E Pace 300 sports, but now discontinued. During our last stint in the E-Pace, we felt it's automatic to be the indecisive at slower speeds but ultimately found the powertrain's refined manner kept the cabin serene. The P250 that we tested back in the 2018 was heavier than some rivals with a turbo 4 engine, a demerit that still holds true today. The P250 was especially comfortable with the soft damping that absorbed the road imperfections and isolated passengers, while its 20 inches wheels thudded over the choppy roads. The right quality otherwise upheld the company's luxury missions. Its loose body motions made it downright playful during a comparison test against the BMW X2 and the Volvo XC40. The jack finish last in this test was named the most fun to drive. The E-Pace is in the thriftiest subcompact luxury crossover with the low fuel economy estimated that many of its all-wheel drive rivals. The 2024 P250 SE model earned an EPA rating of 20 mpg city and 26 mpg highway. Thank you for listening us. Do like and share my channel. 